A single hit to the head can change everything. Sometimes it's subtle with memory loss or mood swings, but other times it can be catastrophic. Traumatic brain injuries or TBIs have been linked to violent behavior, impulse control issues, and even psychosis. Take Aaron Hernandez. He was a former NFL player turned convicted murderer. After his death, doctors found that he had chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, which is a degenerative brain disease caused by repeated head trauma. His brain looks like that of a 70-year-old man. Football was not the only factor. He was born with congenital syphilis, which can cause neurological damage. Add in developing psychosis, and you have the perfect storm. And he's not the only one. Charles Whitman, the Texas Tower Sniper. Before carrying out his infamous mass shootings in 1966, he begged doctors to examine his brain because he felt that there was something wrong. After his death, they found a tumor pressing on his amygdala, which is the part of the brain that controls fear and aggression. One of the earliest known cases of brain trauma affecting behavior is Phineas Gage. In the 1800s, a railroad worker survived a freak accident where a metal rod shot straight through his skull. He lived, but his personality completely changed. Once mild-mannered, he became impulsive, volatile, and reckless. So the question is, when does brain damage stop being a medical condition and start being a risk factor for violence? Let's talk in the comments. And for more true crime deep dives, make sure to follow us here.